literally like three minutes to spare to get on the last bus to the Snow Monkey Park. <sighs> On the bus, we made it. <laughs> Literally, it was 116, so we're staying off at 115. Oh, and we're moving. Oh my god, we barely made it. <laughs> How to get to the Snow Monkey Park? Well, we just got dropped off by the bus. It's heading out now. Here's the directions on how to get there. So we're here, and we're gonna head up the hill. It looks like. It's about 40 minutes on foot now, but we haven't eaten yet. So we're walking to a cafe called Enza Cafe. We'll get a quick bite and then on to the snow monkeys. Traveling with my buddy Yuting. He has been vlogging in Japan as well. I'm using a GoPro today. Oh, finally. Because I'm being lazy. <laughs> using the camera. He normally carries this like huge camera setup and it's really cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite jealous of it. I would like to buy a big camera someday. But I always keep saying, hey, like, look at my, my casual light GoPro setup. And I think he finally, he's testing it out today. Yeah. I'm converting to the lazy method. <gasps> Some might say I'm influenced you. Well, I mean, Would you, you say that? Well, yeah, because I wouldn't be doing YouTube if you weren't doing YouTube. Oh you, my gosh, you, you hear inspired this? inspired me. Oh my God, yeah. I'm inspiring. Yeah. Wow. Whew. Inspiration. There's snow out there. Oh my gosh. So weird. It's the first snow we've seen in Japan. Ignore my crop pants and socks look. I don't travel with very many clothes since I like I'm living out of a backpack, I guess. So I'm very limited on outfit options. And I try to avoid cold weather destinations like this because winter clothes take up so much more space. So actually like since Yuting came from Seattle, he actually brought me warm clothes. And then I've just had like the jeans I've been rotating with. So crop jeans. Mm -hmm. And I look super dorky with the tall socks, but can't have skin showing out here. It is a little too cold for that. Wow, it's so nice to see snow. Oh my gosh. We are eight, seven minutes. Take a right up ahead. Six something. Yuti and I only have a few days left of our trip. This is really the last big Japan adventure and then we'll part ways sadly. He's going back home after this and then I am going to Indonesia for a while. Escaping to the warm weather. We're so hungry we didn't have a chance to eat this morning so this will be our first meal. Thank you. Cheers! Matcha! Oh, this is good. Is it? Uh huh. I want to try it. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> mm. Mm, it's good. Very sweet. Ramen! Double time. We finished lunch and now we are on our way to the monkey park. Although it's around three and they close at four, and we still have around 25 to 30 minutes of walking until we get there. So we're kind of trying to hustle a bit. I'm hoping that maybe it's just like last entry of four and they'll let us hang around in there a bit longer. That would be ideal. It's a bit slippery actually. I'm so stressed right now. I want to see the monkeys. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, this must be an onsen. We go Kudani Onsen. Wow, look at these houses up on the hill here. This is so beautiful. You can smell the sulfur. Okie dokes. Let's go. Monkey number one. Eating sticks. He's just eating a stick? Yeah, there must be something good on there. Let's see what's over this little viewpoint. Oh, more 
Coucou Sarnet Oh this one's checking for bugs Doing some grooming So cute I'm kind of scared to get too close to them Oh this is wild They're just right here I want to touch the water and see if it's actually warm. So I'm heading down to the to the river, I guess. Okay, it's not hot. At least not this part. Which would make sense because there's no monkeys sitting here. Bye. See you later. I just saw the hot spring. It's right up here. Wow. All the tourists are in this area. moment so there's no barrier actually on this side of the hot spring so you can walk up right to the edge and sometimes the monkeys walk past you like we just had one just literally get out of the water and walk right past us and for the most part I feel like they're pretty chill although I had one at the beginning where when I put the camera out and he noticed he made some little hiss monkey noises or whatever you want to call it some get away from me noises we almost didn't come but if you're on the fence about climbing you should definitely come it's worth it ah uh, very it's true expensive to come but it's worth it to come yeah it's so cool they're so cute i really like it yeah and they're it's not beautiful. afraid of you they'll just come right up to your foot and start wrestling each other and it's awesome and now they're grooming each other yeah Oh, there's a baby on this one. Are they gonna come in here? Oh my gosh, they're coming inside? Oh, wow. <laughs> like four monkeys right here. I'm trying to get a selfie with them. They're starting to talk to each other. The monkey park closes at four, so in like 10 minutes from now, I'm hoping they let us kind of hang around a bit longer, but maybe not. Ooh, are they feeding them? All the monkeys are following this guy up the hill. Oh, you think it's food time? It's food time? Mm -hmm. Look, there's like, all of the monkeys are coming. Closing time, okay. Arigato! He just came by with the sign, so it's time to pack up. There's some monkeys down there eating some grain or something on the ground. Oh, hello! The guy with the closing sign is literally like walking right behind everyone, like pushing them out. So like, come on, let's go. It's time to go. So, took the hint. Well, that's where we started. <laughs> I thought that was funny too. Snow. Gotta touch the snow at least once. Probably has monkey poop on it. <laughs> Must make a snowball. My hands are freezing. Are you, doing? you ready? No, don't do it. Where's your do snowball? It. You're, gonna you're, gonna you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. Stop. Woo! <laughs> That's throwing at strangers. Oh, oh you gotta kiss us? Okay. Do you wanna kiss me? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> See ya! 
This is ice ball. It's not How even snow. How many hands are cold? Ah, it's so beautiful. Wait, now we didn't get any actual walking footage. <laughs> Only wizard footage. <laughs> This shop is closed now, but I heard, or I read online, that you can rent, oh, careful. You can rent snow jackets and snow boots here. So if you find yourself in Japan in the winter and not totally prepared for something like this, don't let it stop you. Also, I don't feel like you really need it. Like, we're both wearing basic tennis shoes. They're a little damp and muddy, but. It's not very close to the yeah. We are once more running, this time to leave, because the buses don't come very frequently, and there's one in five minutes that goes back, supposedly. So, hopefully we can make that. If not, I think there's a train station. Oh, the bus just arrived. <laughs> I think we did. Hostel now and just kind of going through the footage and getting some work done but the snow monkey park was amazing I loved it I would like I, I plan to go back someday <laughs> I just think it was really nice the whole thing like even the walk to the monkeys like where we were walking through the forest for like half an hour or so that was beautiful and it really reminded me of some trails at home near Seattle so that was nice, kind of homey feeling. And then the monkeys themselves, they were just really like having a lot of fun and jumping all around. So I thought they were cool to, to sit and study and to photograph and observe. But yes, overall a really good experience. And tomorrow morning, we're hoping to see a little bit more of Nagano before we have to leave. We have a Shinkansen back to Tokyo in the afternoon but I'm hoping to stop by a cafe tomorrow, get some lunch, and maybe go to a temple, but we'll see. That could be too ambitious. But yeah, good night. I've been invited to try crickets, or locusts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In sugar and, and soy sauce, you said? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. You think I'm doing it?